Well, hello everybody, and welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner and another Linux video tutorial. I'm sure the title already gave it away. Today I'm talking to you about the best that I found of the Task Manager. Just like a Task Manager in Windows, the Linux Task Manager shows you all of the running tasks on your computer, everything that is running, and it also gives you a lot more information about your computer so you'll know exactly what's going on about the different components inside. So now this is on a Debian-based Linux. This happens to be Linux Mint, which is my go-to Linux. I've also ran this on Pop! OS, which works absolutely fine. And I've also run this on Ubuntu, and it also works fine. So let's go ahead and start out here with one that's included with, with your distro. This is called TOP, T-O-P. And it gives you a basic set of uh, information here. It gives you, if you can see my mouse, I hope you can see my mouse moving here. On the left, it gives you the PID, which is the process identification, which user is running it. And then it gives you the other information here. The big one is how much CPU usage it's using and how much memory it's taking up. So you can see everything that's running uh, on that particular process. At the very top, probably should have started at the top, have the total tasks are running is 229. Uh, running tasks, as uh, it says, 227. Uh, sleeping tasks is uh, zero. Stopped is one. Oh, go the other way. And zombie is one task. Okay. It also gives you stuff about your CPU usage. So you see your CPU here. Your total memory, it's using about 3.5 gig out of the uh, total here is free is about 400. So I got about 4 gig of memory on this particular laptop that I'm using today. So it's very nice. Like I said, it's built into every version of Linux that I know of, at least um, <clears throat> Debian based. Let's go to our next um, task manager. This is called HTOP. Now, HTOP I've been using for a while until I found a new one I'm going to show you. And I've been you know, fairly happy with it. It runs absolutely fine. And, you know, it gives you a little bit better breakdown of your information. At the top here, we have your cores, one through four. So this is the cores of the processor. Again, the memory that it's using. Total memory, I said, is 3.46, which is really 4 gig. Uh, total swap space being used. If any swap space is being used, it'll show you that. Your total tasks, again, are running here at the top. The load average on your CPU and your total uptime. Down at the bottom, what I like about this one is on these tasks, you simply can just scroll down and find the task you want. And all you got to do is hit F9 and it will kill that task. It will just stop it dead. Okay. You can also filter by hitting F4. Yeah, what I'm going to filter for here is Python. So you can see it gives me an easy breakdown of Python. And again, you can just go through and kill a task. So if you have something that's hung open on your uh, Linux computer, you can go in here and very easily close that out. Get F4 again, and we're going to hit Escape to clear that and get up all of our tasks once again. So again, this is called HTOP. Let's see how you would uh, install HTOP because it doesn't come preloaded. We're going to go ahead and open up a uh, new window here. And what we're going to type in here is sudo apt install htop. Enter. Put in my super secret password. And enter. And there you go. It didn't really include anything new because I already have htop installed. If it would install it, it would ask you to, you know, hit yes to install the application, which you've probably seen a million times. All right, let's close out of this one. And to start HTOP, all you have to do, as I should have showed you in here, just simply top, type in sudo HTOP. Put in your password, and there you go. That's how you launch HTOP. 
You can close that one out now. Let's go to our last one, and this is my favorite. And this is called Bash Top. Now, Bash Top, you can see it's a lot cleaner. It's it's really, really a, a good looking um, task manager, and it gives us a lot of information. I know a lot of my friends currently use uh, Bash Top, and they'll have it open on one of their monitors just so they can keep track of what's going on on their computer and, and you know how they're using it. This stuff it's showing you at the top here, starting off as the CPU. You can see the CPU usage here your cores that are running so it gives you your cores uh, it gives you the temperature of the cores which i think is a really nice touch it always, it's always good to know how fast and well i mean how cool your processor is running or how hot it might get here's a little bar graph going across it has your cpu and your memory down here on the left we have the total ram you can see we're running four gig on this particular laptop i do have to get that upgraded to eight I don't know why I haven't done that yet. To the right of it is your disk. You can see I have 81.3 gig in here because this is a partition down drive. So that's about right. That's how much I gave the partition. How much used and how much free space we have. At the very bottom on the left, we have the bytes coming in and the bytes going out from your network card, from your NIC. Okay, so if we go down here, you press N, you can actually change, and then you can cycle through those. And it looks like I'm plugged in here. Yeah. Um, actually, it looks like I'm plugged into ENP2SO. To the right of that, we have all of our processes that are running. Now let's filter one of these processes. So we hit the letter F. You can see at the very top here, they get it grayed out. That's the letter you push, F. Type in Python again. And we can see how much uh, uh, processor power Python is taking up. We can actually blow this up some. Let's blow this up a little bit bigger here so we can see what's going on. That's better. Now we can see what's going on there a little bit better. So that is Python. And if I hit enter on one of the processes, you can see now where I can hit either T for terminate <clears throat> or K, I can kill it or I can interrupt it. All right. I'm going to hit enter to close that and hit C to clear my filter and go right back to all of our processes. So you might be saying, Jack, that looks really good, man. I want to install that on my computer. Well, good. All you got to do is open up a terminal window. As you can see here, I am using Terminator. I just find it to be a, a nicer type of a um, nicer type of terminal. And we are simply going to type in sudo apt-get because it's not on your computer in your repository. So you're going to have to pull it down. Install and this is bash top. Hit enter. Put in your super secret password. Actually, it's probably updating some packages. Clear. Now to start bash top, all you have to do is type in bash top. Well, I would type in sudo just because I like to have um, elevated privileges when I run these and hit enter and it loads up and there it is there's bash top so that's three for you that you can use for task management as again go over them uh, one more time is top is included with uh, your distro it's already on there all you gotta do is open up a command prompt and type in uh, I mean a terminal and type in top 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 then there's H top which again you're gonna have to install H top to open that, open up a terminal, type in sudo htop. And then there's bash top, which is the one you're looking at now, which is my go-to task manager now for uh, everything on my Linux computers. And bash top, to install it, simply go to sudo app-get install bash top. To run it, simply type in sudo bash top. 
So I hope this video was helpful for you, and I hope that uh, you install these on your computer, and play with them, and try them out on your Linux distro, and see how they work. Like I said, I'm not sure if they work on Arch or Red Hat or any of the other uh, you know types of Linuxes out there, but I do know it runs on Debian-based Linux distros. So until next time, keep learning and never give up. I'll talk to you back here very soon on Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now.